this was found and the beam that went across the barn opening don't know what it is it says on it providence it's very rusty and old which i like but i'm going to try and make it as new as i can just so i can see the picture and read it on the other side it's still in really good condition considering it could be anything up to 300 years old so i'm going to start the process and try to get the rust off and come back to you and show you how i've got on what i've decided to try and do is use white vinegar so i tried this on the um, trowels and stuff like that and they come up all right so i'm gonna normal distilled white vinegar into the bucket and leave it to soak for a few days right so here it is it's been soaking in here 24 hours that's the back of it so I'll take it out After one scrub, sip a lot of the rust off, not too much. Pretty happy with that. We'll carry on, get some wire wool on it and stuff like that and see if it comes up anymore. If not, I'll probably just paint it black, preserve it a bit better. Anyway, we'll carry on. I don't know if I want to try and make it new than that. I just concentrate on the middle, keep its age. Anyway. Providence. A triangle and a cloud. Right, so after taking it all the rust off it, next time I come back to it, there's just rust on it when I looked at it. There was millions of tiny holes. So the rust, is, the rust is eating it away. So I decided to paint it black with amorite paint to protect it. And then just slightly rub off the picture on it to make it silver and as is. And after debating, what I've decided to do is take it off this piece of wood and put it on temperance to keep it safe. mount it straight onto the wall of the barn or the house when it's done and go round it like frame it with a bit of nice wood out of the barn also maybe the barn door actually because it's falling apart I was hoping to use more wood so that is what it looks like it's not quite dry yet but that's the finished look next time you see it it will be on the wall and I'll show you it finished and in place thank you very much